girl is ashy it is Saturday so happy Saturday I am on my way well, I'm gonna finish feeding I'm gonna finish feeding Jonah and I'm gonna walk him and I'm gonna head to get yet another tire I think I only have one more tire to replace after this and then I'll be good for like the next two years so um, and then we're going house hunting today, I think, if we can get Xavier up. We were trying to decide whether or not we should go tomorrow or today um, because I was supposed to get the tires since yesterday, but apparently the person I was supposed to deliver the tire to the shop got into a bad accident so they couldn't make it there in time before closing today. The guy called me like really early, like 7.30 this morning. It was like the tires so here, you can come pick it up. So we still might be able to fit in our little road trips to look for homes today. Just didn't want to be driving around like on a bad tire because we are driving probably an hour and a half to two hours out. If possible, we can check out some thrift stores in the area and stuff. So, and I guess I'll talk to you guys more while we're in the car or whatever. I also can't find my charges since I left New York. I have a second one but it's at work so I might have to stop off at work to pick that up because I need to charge you guys and you guys aren't blinking yet but you will be soon. Look at all these packages. Seven items guys. I wish it could be like this every day. Seven orders a day? What? getting the car fixed or the tire and I texted Xavier before I left the house asking if he still wanted to go looking for houses today because I'm afraid to talk to him in person in the mornings because he's grouchy. <laughs> he hasn't responded yet so I hope he does soon so I know how to plan my day accordingly. But yeah after I leave here I'm just gonna go and pick up my charger from work. It's not far it's like five minutes up the street and then head back home and pray that Xavier responds because I'm feeling very anxious and I need to I need to get out of the house and do something today. It's been I just saw somebody walking by. It has been extremely stressful for myself and my family these past few weeks and it's still ongoing unfortunately. That stress added with the wedding right around the corner. Words can't express how stressed I've been. I've lost so much weight. I have not been sleeping. I can't concentrate. It's been really bad. And I'm trying to do things to get my mind off of everything going on. So house hunting and selling stuff, my clothes, <laughs> has been really helping me get like, feel motivated to stay on track. Okay, so we are house hunting, although I already... Can you put your hands down, sir? Yes, ma'am. Is that an order? That's not an order. I'm okay, asking so no, you I politely. Have to, I have to keep it up. I can't. Stop I doing that. You're embarrassing me. I well, can't do anything without it being an order for me. It there's no to orders. Be, to be an executive order. There's no me. orders. Pres okay so we are here house hunting and we put in not a random address found like an address of this i put nothing in shit i did because I, mean, I, I was forced to wear this shirt today no you were not forced to wear that short shirt today you're supposed to wear it for our second honeymoon 
You don't hear that very often. You second just honeymoon. Keep getting honeymoons. <laughs> so you're a lucky gal. Get 20,000 honeymoons. And then I could be like, yo, at the Grand Canyon, there's the moon, honey. Yep. Are we going to do that for our other honeymoon again, Las Vegas? Mm, probably not. You know, it's back open again. It's really crowded. I yeah, you did there. say that. We'll but do it again someday. I, I would say what I have, I have four different complete itineraries that I've been planning for probably over eight months now. Very really intensely, three months now. But the thing is, is that they consistently change their requirements for international travel here and there. Yeah, they keep asking. You know, first for Hawaii, vaccines, and vaccines, and, the and PCR then PCR tests. tests, and then. Uh, it used to be they had a point where they had a, a negative antigen test. Basically, if you had COVID, you recovered from it. And yeah. That, that was good, but then now that's no good neither. So now they're talking about you need vaccines. I can't say specifically the places because there's supposed to be surprises. <laughs> but you need vaccines and you need a negative PCR test. Um, and you have to make a declaration. All of this crazy stuff just to do international yeah. travel, which never used to be there. Nope. But now we have to deal with that too. No so. thanks to the pandemic. So we are not vaccinated and nor do we ever plan on getting that. So we're going to have to find out all of our plans, fit all our plans around all of the stuff going on. Yes. But honestly, the honeymoon, no, I'll just be happy good. just to be out of work. So like, I'm not really like so concerned, Last but I kind of want to just get the I mean, wedding out of the way. We, I think we had a good time, especially plane ride home was freaking awesome. Watch SpongeBob at 36,000 feet on an empty plane. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Um, that was fun. We had, like, yeah, we really did have a fun honeymoon. Did we talk about that in that video that we didn't put out yet? I don't know yet, but we did have a good honeymoon for as much as we could have during the time period that we were going through yeah. the height of the lockdowns and yeah. all that type of stuff. So um, that was good. This year, I'm also trying to plan the best way. I was trying to go a little bit bigger and hopefully places internationally would have been more open they are but they have a lot of restrictions and stuff so it's really hard and the restrictions are constantly changing like i just said yeah so that's what we're just putting off have to the last four different day. trips up to the last couple like two or three weeks and i know the prices are going to be a little bit more expensive then but i'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and yeah. trade off paying a little bit more for having more of a secure uh, trip that will actually happen versus something changing last minute and us not being able to comply with yeah. whatever stuff going on. So that's basically the thought process behind going on that route. But like I said, I do have four different really detailed itineraries. Um, I just wish that it wasn't it wasn't this much of a hassle. Because it is good to plan ahead, but like in these times it's like kind of impossible can't really plan ahead for not just this for like e anything even with the detailed itineraries it, those are always have wiggle rooms on like hey we need to be here at yeah x amount of time or anything like that it's more kind of like a loose hey you know at this day sometime this day we're gonna mm -hmm. go do this event or something exactly so it always leaves room for for stuff going wrong or slightly being delayed or I figured that out just long term, like, yo, all these trips and stuff, if you try to go on a strict schedule, you just cause more stress yeah, and you take away from the experience. Yeah. So, but if you have a, like, a loose kind of schedule, it kind of gives you somewhat of an organization. Like, mm -hmm. hey, I still want to hit this place, you know, I want to tour this area at least, you know, even if it's for a couple of minutes or whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know, I'm just kind of talking and taking over your vlog right now. No, 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 speak, speak. These are all things that needs to be talked about. For right and now. And I know like we're, fo like right now we're looking for houses and we probably should be focused more on the honeymoon and the wedding, but like there's so much things that need to be done. Like I can't wait until after the wedding. Like we need to get this. We slip right into the holiday season right and that and that kind of goes really yeah, fast too. I'm exactly. excited, I always love the holiday season. I love Thanksgiving, I like, I like cooking. Um, that always excites me, but that also brings a little bit of stress to it. Oh, I have to add this to my normal routine schedule and kind of, you know, somewhere, somewhere, somehow, something always gets shorted or deducted from, whether it's, you know, laundry piling up or something like that. I and know. it's really about self-discipline. So it really do. is. Like, I need to stop focusing on other stuff. Like, 
even small stuff like um, organizing my bookshelf, like buying my thing. And yeah. I see it as a mess on my post, and it takes so long. A bunch of papers everywhere and stuff like that. I need to organize all that area. You look at something that's organized, like we just did upstairs, mm -hmm. and, and it looks better, and it, it just... God, it makes your mind feel so much more Yeah, it makes your mind at ease. When you see a bunch of clutter and stuff, like clearly. it's just good. Yes. So that's why I've been working really hard trying to figure all of this stuff out, because I, I need some mental clarity right now. So right now we are just looking at neighborhoods, potential neighborhoods that we want to stay in so that we have an idea of exactly how much we need to save for and exactly when we need to do certain things like this is like the first step 